Hey y'all, I'm Jackie. And today I wanna to share with you how I'm doing on Citalopram slash Celexa two years in. So I do have a video, I think it's called My Experience with Citalopram, talking about my first six weeks and uh, a little bit after. Um, you know, it was really, really challenging. Um, not easy, but I will say 100% worth it. And then um, just to get y'all up to speed, uh, if you haven't watched my other videos, um, I've been on uh, 40 milligrams, so I had to increase my medication about almost a year ago. I was experiencing a lot more anxiety, a little bit of depression, um, some really bad intrusive thoughts. So um, that was a whole process and I have videos talking about that as well. Um, but here we are now, a year into 40 milligrams of citalopram. I think I found the dosage that works for me. Um, I'm not sure if I've had, if I've had any panic attacks in the last year, um, it's been well under five, well under, like maybe a couple. Um, and you know, I've had several cases where I've had really high anxiety, you know, trouble breathing and like heart starting to pound. So not quite a panic attack, but like on my way there. And I've been able to use these tools and probably the medication is a huge help to uh, get out of it before it gets really, you know, overwhelming, before it hits that like peak of the panic attack. So um, on the anxiety side, it's been fantastic. My anxiety is way more manageable, um, but it's not gone. I definitely still have a lot of anxiety. Um, it's just not, it doesn't consume my life. It doesn't consume all of my energy like it used to before I increased the medication. Um, and you know, I don't get in as many of those like downward spirals. So, you know, I have a scary thought or a bad thought. Um, and you know, before I would just spiral down thinking of all these terrible scenarios and get like really overwhelmed with emotions and thought and, you know, would lose feeling in my whole body. Um, really stressful. So it's been really nice not having to deal with those uh, nearly as often or nearly as severe. Um, I will say it's not just the medication though. Um, I think I owe a lot to therapy and also owe a lot to myself. Like I've done some hard ass work the last year, especially um, working through trauma, working through um, a lot of things that uh, it just challenges <laughs> and learning more about who I am as a person and um, accepting all the things that I didn't like about myself before um, that I'm learning to love now. So yeah. Anxiety wise, it's been pretty great. Um, although driving, I do have a lot of anxiety still. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly why, but you know, I'm sure I'll figure that out with therapy. So things are good. You know, I have some days here and there that are just really sad days where um, I feel really, really down and low energy. Um, no compat or no passion, no drive, um, just really lethargic and low. Um, and those days are really tough. Um, and I do try to work through them the best I can with journaling and um, therapy if I have it that day, uh, taking care of myself. Um, I think that is one of the things that's helped a lot is like, if I'm not feeling well, whether that's sadness, anxiety, or anger, whatever, I ask myself, how can I take care of myself right now? And that's something I couldn't do before the medication because I felt so overwhelmed by emotion. So now I'm able to have that space to figure out how to take care of myself. You know, whether that means taking stuff off of my plate, or um, sleeping, meditating, any number of things, maybe, you know, make a salad, a smoothie, maybe get a chocolate donut, I don't know. I will say something that I've experienced in the last year, probably the last two years, but um, 
it, it's on and off, but severe sweating, and I've never dealt with it before being on this medication. Um, I've also gained weight, so it's like hard to tell, is it just the medication? Is it lifestyle? Is it, you know, what exactly is causing it? But, um, you know, I'll get really bad night sweats every once in a while, not every night. Um, I sweat more through my clothes. Um, and it's just like really inconvenient because who wants pit stains and who wants to be like moist? Um, I also like every time I sweat at night, I feel the need to wash my sheets um, more than usual. So that part's kind of exhausting. Um, and I just recently read that uh, excessive sweating can be a, um, what's the word? Symptom? Side, side effect of Cytalopram or Celexa. Um, I will say I've also gained a good amount of weight, but again, I don't know if that's just the medication, if it's a combination of the medication and, uh, you know, COVID and the stress of life and working from home now, um, you know, I don't know what exactly causes that, but that is something that's changed in the last two years. But I'd say just overall, an overall update is that things are pretty good. And I'm really happy that I gave the medication a shot, even though I did not want to get on it. Um, you know, I still think about, uh, I dream about days of, days in the future, hopefully, where I can come off the medication and hopefully not deal with the side effects. But, um, you know, it's not, I, I just don't want to mess a good thing up right now. Um, I'm trying to trust my gut. Uh, that's a whole process on its own. Um, and just listen to myself to see how things are going um, and when, if ever, I should come off of the medication. Um, I do plan on going to the doctor soon, uh, I think just for my annual checkup. And uh, I want to ask some more questions around the side effects and what their thoughts are on the situation. So um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes. No idea when it's going to happen. Um, but as always, if you'll have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I know this was a really rambly video, so I'm sorry. I just like wanted to send you all an update and like get it out there. So, um, yeah, I hope you're doing well. Uh, it's, this is not, life is not freaking easy. Um, and then add medication and like the ideas of getting on medication and, just dealing with mental health in general is tough stuff. So I hope you guys are treating yourself well. I hope you're kind to yourselves and I hope you have a beautiful day. Again, let me know if you have any questions, comments, feedback. Namaste.